All right, so there are asteroids out there. We know they can hit the Earth, and we know there's different sizes, and we know they can do damage. So do we actually have to worry? I mean, every science fiction movie tells us we have to, but do we actually have to worry? Well, you've got a trade-off. You've got small and big. There okay. are small ones are much more common. That's right. So they hit the Earth all the time. Okay. They don't do so much damage. And then you've got the big ones, which cause enormous amounts of damage, but are very rare. So there's a trade-off between how much damage they can do and how often they hit. Yeah. So we look at things, you know, 10, 20, 30 meters across, like the one that hit Chelyabinsk or Wolf Creek. Yep. And these will hit the Earth once a decade or something like that. Yep. Um, and so how bad are they? I mean. Chelyabinsk hurt a lot of people, but no one died. Yep. Um, but it but wasn't a very populated area, though, right? It had some cities there. So, yeah. I mean, if it, if it got a bit lower because it was made of nickel iron or something like that, it could land on the surface. And if you got unlucky, it landed on near Manhattan or central Shanghai or something like this. Yep. Then a lot of people could die. But most of the Earth is not major cities. Exactly. So, so here, even though they happen a lot, we're kind of banking on the fact that most of the Earth is very uninhabited, or at least poorly, densely inhabited. The main risk for these is the over-erection by provoking humans. Yes. That one of these things comes in in the, some period of geopolitical crisis, and people think it's an incoming ballistic missile and trigger nuclear war. And that happened several times during the Cold War. Yep. So we just want, if any of you are in charge of nuclear weapons, please remember that not all things that come in very fast from space are enemy nuclear weapons. It could be something like this meteorite. That's right. Don't destroy the world because one of these things comes in. And we do know they happen and we do know we miss them. You know, as you said, they are so small that we, we don't know where most of these are anyways, right? Yep. Now, when you get up to a bit bigger, like the one that landed in Tunguska, you're talking 50 metres, maybe 100 metres or something. We're talking about, on average, we'd expect one impact from 100 to 1,000 years. OK. So, I mean, that's not that often. I mean, it's a lot. But if you think about even every 500 years, it's very different for it to happen in the 1600s versus the year you know we yeah. are in now. And again, we we'll, may well be lucky that most of the times these things can happen over the, the ocean, and maybe Antarctica. kill a few ship's crews or something like this. That's but right. bear in mind, Tunguska destroyed 2,000 kilometers of pine forest. Yeah. If one of those landed on a city, there could be a lot of deaths. Death. That's right. It's not going to wipe out humanity, destroy civilization, but it could be pretty nasty. That's right. Um, then when we get up to some, a kilometre across, like the one that landed in the Nerlinger Reefs, we don't have any historical data on something this big. Yep. That was at more than 10 million years in the past. Um, but in this case, it created a crater that was 25 kilometres across and probably a fireball and blast damage and things that were so much yeah, bigger so, I mean, than that. The crater itself is a city. Yes, and that, that could be something that could take out a small country, perhaps, yeah. or at least do severe damage. Again, it's not going to be wiping out the That's entire right. human race, uh, but it could be very nasty. But these are on the order of one every few hundred thousand years, maybe up to a million years or so. Yep. And then you get the, the dinosaurs, um, sort of 10 kilometers. In principle, it can go up to 100 or 1,000 or something yeah, like yeah. that. But 1,000 is only a series, and we know where that is. That's right. <laughs> so, so the higher up we get, the the lot, a lot, lot less of them there are. Yep. And at this sort of size we're talking about, given, I don't know, yeah. stats, it's one every few tens of millions of years, which is about right. The last one we know about was the Chicxulub, which yep. was 66 million years ago. Um, of course, saying once every 10 million years doesn't mean 10 million years, nothing, 10 million years right. on the clock. It could be tomorrow. Yeah. It's not going to be tomorrow, a, don't worry. There's a one in 10 million chance every year. That's right. Um, and so it could happen tomorrow, um, but it's, it's not going to happen very often. That's right. So actually, it turns out that um, you, you can work out the expectation of the deaths. Yep. So one of these small chances of killing a few people that might happen once a decade or so. Yep. Um, none of these ever killed anyone in recorded history. That's right, that is true. Um, th that's debated. I mean, there's, yeah. there's claims that a farmhouse in France yes. was destroyed by a small meteorite killing the people back in the 1700s. And then if we go back thousands of years, there was humans around. One of them may have hit. We don't know. But yep. for the most part, we think that's unlikely. Yep. Um, one of these if it hits somewhere could kill a lot of people. But, and but, so you can multiply how many people will die on average by how often, how often it happens. Now, for a long time, there's a big debate about things about the 100 meter size. I mean, these are yes, could destroy a city if they land on one. But people were worried, what if it lands in the sea? Could it produce a giant tsunami yep. and do a lot more damage? If it lands on land, you have to get very unlucky for the city. It could take out New York and be yep. really bad, but most likely it won't. That's what right. happens if it lands in the North Atlantic Ocean? 
And it turns out that uh, people were very worried about the size of the tsunami from these things. Uh, but it turns out the uh, US military done a lot of research about tsunami risk from atomic weapons. And it turns out that these ones are not too bad because their their waves are so big that they, you know, waves break when they come close to the shore. Yep. Like a tsunami at deep ocean is only about a meter tall. That's so right. when it gets close to the shore, then it gets very large. Yeah. But it turns out these have got such a big wavelength that they actually break at the edge of the continental shelf, ah, which is usually okay. hundreds of kilometers away from the shore. So in fact, it, they are so large large that's almost their undoing. Yes. Um, the bigger the wave, the further out it breaks. And these break so far out that they've probably totally broken and turned into just foam by the time they reach the shore. So they're probably not as bad as we think. OK. Um, though controversial. We, yeah. I don't want to have an experiment to try that's and find right. out. That's right. No one's going to press this idea. Yep. But it turns out that the biggest risk of dying is probably from the very rare, very big ones. Because one of these things could wipe out almost everybody on Earth. There's yeah, 7 so. billion people um, once every 10 million years. And that gives you roughly a 1 in 200,000 chance in your lifetime of being killed by one of these. That's right. Now, 1 in 200,000 is pretty small, um, but it's you know, more than the risk of dying in a plane crash. Yep. It's, but it's sort of people don't... If, you, if you, it was happening all the time, people would know about it. Yeah. But this is nothing for 100 million years, and then suddenly everyone's dead. That sort of thing the human brain doesn't handle. The yeah, exactly. very rare, very nasty things. And we've seen this recently, right? The, the, the pandemics, rare, That's yes. right. The rare events that don't happen that often but have big impacts. That's right. So it's, it's, it's in that category. It's not a routine thing. It's a very unlikely, but if it happens, it will be really bad. Yes. And these are the big ones, the ones that we need to worry about.